This hydrogen atom has one electron in its outermost shell, but this outermost shell holds two. So this hydrogen atom needs one electron to fill its outermost shell, which is a more stable configuration. So hydrogen atoms react with each other to form the gas H2, in which each hydrogen atom shares one electron with the neighboring hydrogen atom, so that each possesses two electrons around it at least some of the time. This is an example of a single covalent bond because one electron is shared by each atom. Each of these oxygen atoms possesses six electrons in its outermost shell, but the outermost shell fits eight. So each oxygen atom requires two electrons to fill its outermost shell. When oxygen atoms react with each other, they do not share one electron each because this would not give them a sufficient number to fill their outermost shell. Each oxygen atom donates two electrons to the shared bonds to form double covalent bonds in which each atom shares two electrons and this allows for each atom to have eight electrons in its outermost shell at least some of the time. So oxygen gas O2 forms when oxygen atoms form double covalent bonds with each other. Each of these nitrogen atoms possesses five electrons in its outermost shell, but the outermost shell can fit eight. And so each of these nitrogen atoms requires three electrons to fill its outermost shell. When nitrogen atoms react with each other, they form triple covalent bonds in which each atom shares three electrons with its neighbor. This is a very strong bond and thus nitrogen gas, N2, consists of two nitrogen atoms which are bound through triple covalent bonds.